Hi guys, I'm back with another video. Um, so happy to be back today. I thought I would do a fall inspired look, which is this right here. So it is a bit more of a moody eye and a berry lip. A lot of the fall trends this year have been more of a 90s style makeup, which I love um, more of a 90s child myself and kind of liked that grunge inspired look, although this is more of a glamorous grunge, I think I would say. Um, it's not really overly grungy, but I like the idea of a darker eye and lip together. Hey everyone, so normally to get started in my tutorials, I would apply my foundation, but I accidentally forgot to press record while I was applying my foundation a couple of seconds ago, so I had the ultimate friggin blonde moment so I'm really sorry but I haven't done my concealer or my powder or anything yet so I'm just going to continue from there so hopefully you guys are okay with that. Um, for my foundation I use the new Marc Jacobs which I just did a review on not too, I think it was two weeks ago um, from when it came out first impressions review and application um, so go check that out so what I'm using is 14 ivory medium but I will post below all the products that I'm using today so to continue on with what I'm doing I'm going to clip my hair back again. Um, so like I said, foundation's already on. Um, for concealer, what I'm going to do is actually apply a little bit of Bobbi Brown's um, eye cream. This is a hydrating eye cream because I want to use MAC's um, concealer under my eye. And I find that a lot of creamy concealers start to cake if your under eye area isn't properly hydrated, which I used to have such a big problem with before. It used to drive me crazy because the coverage was great and then I'd look in the mirror two hours later and I would look completely ridiculous. But ever since I started using this, no problem anymore. So I'm so loved. Best product ever. You don't need very much. Like I'm taking a very teeny tiny amount. And I'm just going to apply it under my eye. And keeping the skin under your eye hydrated is so important. Um, and then the concealer that I'm going to use today is uh, MAC Studio Finish Concealer. I'm going to be using this in NW20. So I'm going to use my finger just because I always find that that's the best way of applying um, more of a creamy concealer um, or at least a denser one just because the warmth, the warmth of your finger and the oils in your finger will help you know really get the concealer in there and then of course with the cream that I've just put on it really helps it smooth out beautifully and I'm pulling it across my lid too just because my lids are a little bit darker right now as well. Um, so I just want to get rid of some of the coloration or extra coloring on my lid so it's not quite so dark. So for my powder, I'm actually going to use a recommendation that Lauren Beauty had made, which is the Face of Australia Translucent Powder. I know she kind of swears by it and she kept talking about it so much and I live in Canada, not in Australia, so I had to order it online, but this is the package or packaging of it. So I'm going to be using Sigma's um, F30 brush for this. So I'm all concealed, if you will. I don't know what movement that was, but anyway. Oh my gosh, I got powder everywhere. Um, okay, now I'm going to fill in the brows. So my old faithful is Annabelle's Brow Pencils. I'm so obsessed with these, they're amazing. Um, I normally have I, or I normally have. I have three colors that I kind of tend to rotate between. Today I'm going to be using their eyebrow pencil in taupe. So now that that is all done, I'm going to start off with the look. I have a MAC Pro palette here um, with quite a few warmer shades that I'm going to be using. And the one that I'm actually going to start off with is this one that you can obviously see I've used quite a bit. This is uh, Cork that's in the middle here. It's just a really nice warm brown shade. And what I'm going to do is take my Sigma E55 shading brush and I'm going to really dip it into this color and I'm going to pat it all over my lid. So taking that brow cut or the brown color, not brow color, um, using my E15 Sigma brush, I'm going to just put it also on the lower lash line. For my next color, what I'm going to actually be using is the Sigma Paris palette, um, and I'm going to be using their Ulysses um, sort of mauve purpley kind of burgundy color that they've got in the middle here, however you want to describe it. Such a beautiful color and it's got a very, very subtle hint of 
a glitter in there, which I like. If you don't have the Paris palette, it's not a big deal. You can easily change it for any kind of purpley, either maroon shade or you can go to almost like a black, brown, purple, anything kind of dark and moody looking would be just fine. So don't worry if you don't have this palette, it's just the one that I'm personally going to use for this tutorial. So using my Sigma E45 Taper Blending Brush, what I'm going to do is take a bit of the kind of mauvey purple that I showed you guys and I'm going to apply it at the base of my lid. I'm going to dab it on and drag it up to my crease line. and kind of blend it into the crease just to kind of deeper set your eye I'm going to drag it under the lash line, just a little bit from whatever I had left on the brush. I don't need to go too crazy. I'm going to take a normal blending brush and I'm just going to kind of mess everything about. Just because I want to soften the lines a little bit. And get this to be more of a smoky kind of warm eye. I'm kind of pulling it up out of the crease and a little bit more towards my brow bone. Okay, I'm now actually going to take a color from the Naked Palette. And I'm going to be using Half Baked, which is the gold color in here. And what I'm going to do just to warm up and brighten the eye a little bit is put it in the center of the lid. I just think the mixture of brown and gold is really, really pretty. And then again, I'm going to take that same blending brush and I'm just going to blend it out again. Take a black eyeliner. You can use any black eyeliner you want. Um, I got a Lancome black eyeliner as a sample when I bought some face cream, so I'm just going to use this one. But I mean, any black eyeliner will do. It won't, doesn't really matter. Uh, and what I'm going to do is just line my waterline. Do that in the other eye. And then I'm going to do the same on my um, upper lid. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't think of what I was trying to say. Once I'm all lined in the eye, what I'm going to do is take another small brush. This time I'm going to use um, a Sigma's waterline uh, brush. Sorry, I couldn't think of my words there. And I'm just going to pull down the eyeliner a little bit just to give it more of that smudged out look. Go back in with another um, brown shade. This time I'm going to use another sort of tapering brush and I'm gonna use this dark brown or it's kind of ready brown. Um, this was in Max palette, the Rimmel Dabia uh, palette, which I believe was a limited edition one, but any, again, any kind of ready brown will do, it doesn't really matter. And I'm just gonna take a very tiny, tiny amount and I'm going to Put it again in the crease just to deepen it a little bit more.
next thing I'm going to do is apply some mascara. Um, this is a specialty mascara for eyelash extensions, which is what I have because they're just so much easier. <laughs> um, and I really highly recommend them as long as you go to someone that does them properly. Um, your eyelashes won't be damaged. And um, anyway, so what I'm going to do is just apply a little bit of this mascara because I'm not going to be putting falsies or anything on. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to take that same mascara and actually just apply a little bit on the base of my lashes. Or not the base of my lashes, oh my gosh. My bottom lashes, sorry guys, my words are not cooperating with me today or my brain's just not functioning, I don't know. Blame it on the hair dye. Okay, so now that that's all done, so we've got the darker sort of smoldering eye going on. Uh, what I'm going to do is put on my bronzer and some of my blush to start completing some of the look. So I'm going to use Marc Jacobs' um, bronzer. And I'm obsessed with this bronzer. It's so good. So there's the... Sorry, I'm not holding this properly. The Marc Jacobs bronzer. It is amazing! Okay, so I'm going to apply a little bit of this. Get my Zoolander duck face on. Oh, sorry, and I'm using the Sigma F15, what is it, Duo Fiber Powder and Blush Brush. But I like this more as a bronzing brush. <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit in my temples, kind of mess it in there. It's when I start applying a lot of bronzer like this that I really start to miss my fake bake. <laughs> Maybe I need to self-tan again, I don't know. Probably. Now for blush, I'm going to use Max Sun Mask, which is this really nice kind of... It's got a touch of that mauve kind of coloring in it, but it's just a darker pink. And I'm going to use the same brush that I applied with my bronzer. So next is the lips, and what I'm going to do is sort of a darker maroony kind of lip. Uh, the 90s look and what's in for fall is to have a darker eye and a darker lip together, which I am obsessed with that look. So what I'm going to do first is line and fill my lips in with this Truco uh, lip liner, which is in Sebastian Russet, and it's this really nice kind of berry color, so I'm going to do that first. So here is Rebel, this is the color I'm going to put um, over top, and everything with kind of the 90s in this fall is more of a soft pouty lip. I don't necessarily want to go as dark as this, so I'm just going to put on a little bit and then sort of smudge it over my mouth. Okay, now that that's all done, the last thing that I'm going to do is take, if I can find it, um, Max Myth Lip Glass, and I'm going to drop this over top just to darken it a little bit. Or I shouldn't say darken it, just get rid of some of the berry color. So that is the completed look or my look for fall. So like I said, it's more of a smoldering eye and a nice berry lip. But I am absolutely obsessed with that look for fall. I think it's fantastic. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe as a new video will go up every Thursday from now on. Um, if you have any videos that you'd like to see, comment below and let me know. But otherwise, I love you guys and I'll see you next week. See ya!